Hey guys, welcome back to our Houston Texans franchise in Madden 2003. Today we are hosting the Indianapolis Colts. And week one of the season, they beat us. And I'm still a little sour about it. We are 4-4 four and four on the year. We just lost to the Vikings. The Colts are 3-4. and four, And for some reason, the game sound did not record. So you're just going to hear the music and my beautiful voice as Sammy Parker returns that kick. Only to the 14-yard line. Third and one. Johnson gets loose on the left. First down pickup. Now Palmer going to the air here. Pump fakes all day. Desmond Clark wide open at the 36-yard line. Patrick Pass getting a rare carry up to the 40 for the first down. But we're stuck on third and eight here. And Palmer throws it late to Jabbar Gaffney. And it is deflected away. So the Colts take over. And right away, Marvin Harrison wide open. Gets a pass at the 31-yard line. Manning left side, Edron James, a nice six-yard pickup, but they did not get him the first down. We go back on offense. We go deep, and Billy Miller's got it past the 25, inside the 20, 15, breaking a tackle, dragging defenders down to the 11-yard line. Billy Miller has been outstanding this season, and he's pretty much going to have career numbers this year as we like to air it out, and he's just been getting wide open almost every game, and I think that is because of Randy Moss on the outside. Second and goal from the two yard line. Justin Fargus gets the carry and blows by the defense for the touchdown. Texans on top, seven nothing. Manning to Pollard, first down, about a 12 yard gain. Manning off his back foot, he's got Brewer wide open, that's the backup tight end. Mo Sykes misses the tackle, Edron James is loose. He picks up the first down before Roll tackles him. James right side, great block on the outside. Missed tackle by Marcus Washington. You don't see that very often. And Mo Sykes just got trucked out of his life. My goodness. Dominic Rhodes is stuffed by Mo Sykes. This time he makes up for it. Sebastian Janikowski on for the long field goal attempt. Kick is up and it is just barely good. I know it's only a 7-3 score right now and we're in the second quarter. But let me tell you what folks. This game is about to get wild. Palmer all day to throw. Hits Parker over the middle for the first down. Second and nine. Palmer again going to launch it deep to Billy Miller. And he's got it inside the 10. Down to the nine yard line. Just getting wide open past the safety yet again. Larry Johnson juking out right side. And he gets slowed up and taken down at the two yard line. But he punches it in on the next play as he breaks out to the left. Texas on top. 14 to three over the Indianapolis Colts, who were trying to get back to 500 on the season. John Coons, fullback, getting a carry. First down pickup, gets about 20 yards right up the middle. Manning, right side, wide open, Marvin Harrison, as usual. He'll pick up another first down. Manning again to the air, left side this time to Wayne, who makes the catch for the first down. The Colts are just moving the ball down the field with ease as Pollard gets another first down. Edron James to the outside, and again gets a first down. Most Sykes misses so badly. It looked like he dove at the referee. And James will walk it into the end zone for the Colts touchdown to make this a four-point ball game. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Palmer all day, throws right side. Somehow caught by Sammy Parker, who gets it up to the 37. It looked like it was going to be picked. Palmer 154 yards on five completions today. And he's going to throw again here. Left side, wide open. Larry Johnson. He jukes, breaks a tackle. Past the 30-yard line. One man giving chase, and he won't get him. That was Jonathan Vilma who missed the tackle. And the Texans are back on the board, 21-10. But the Colts are not going to give up yet. Reggie Wayne makes a nice catch up to the 38-yard line. Colts going no huddle. Manning left side to Pollard. Inside Texan territory. Manning again, this time going deep, wide open, Marvin Harrison, Tillman got burnt like toast. Manning to the end zone, wide open, Edger and James for the receiving touchdown, his second touchdown of the ball game. 35 seconds to go in the half, Palmer is sacked way back at the 14 yard line. Second and 16, Johnson getting loose and that'll end the first half, 21-17 as the Texans look to take control of the AFC South. 256 yards of offense for the Texans, 222 for the Colts. Only 45 rushing yards so far for Houston. DePace kicks this one deep towards the sideline, and it is going to be dropped by Dominic Rhodes, 
and he's going to be taken down by Mo Sykes at the 13-yard line. Third and 10 for the Colts. Manning on right side, and it hits the back of Marvin Harrison's helmet. Actually, that was Reggie Wayne. Palmer rolling out right side all day. He's going to take off, and he's going to get the first down on the ground. Second down here. Johnson bouncing around like a pinball. Stiff arms a man and gets it up to the 34-yard line. He's got a vicious stiff arm. Palmer again going to run, this time left side at the 20. Juking, still going. Gets it inside the 20-yard line down to the 18. Palmer rolling out right side. He's going to use his feet again here, folks. And Palmer gets it all the way to the 5-yard line. And Johnson finishes the drive off with a touchdown on the ground. Another great drive for the Texans. 28-17 is the score here in the third quarter. The pace again kicking it to Rhodes, who has struggled so far to return kicks. And he'll get it up towards the 20. He fumbles it. Mo Sykes can't pick it up, but Carlos Dansby recovers it, and he coasts into the end zone for the Houston Texans touchdown. That was Marcus Washington who forced it, and Mo Sykes apparently did not want the easiest touchdown of his career. Great job for Carlos Dansby. He doesn't have a whole lot of stats with us. And Mo Sykes just gets thrown around like a rag doll right there. And Edron James gets it up to the 35. James again on the ground. Breaks a tackle. Still going inside the Texans' territory again. Manny going deep. Harrison, nice catch in double coverage at the 30. High snap from Manny. He's going to go deep left side. Reggie Wayne's got it at the 11, beating Entrell Roll. There's too many Hurricanes on the field right now. And James is going to punch this one in for the Colts' touchdown, making this a four-point ball game. No, actually, it was an 11-point ball game. I forgot about that special teams touchdown. Sammy Parker from his own seven-yard line. And he breaks a tackle, gets to the outside, spins, breaks another tackle, but he fumbles it and is recovered by Macklin inside the 30-yard line. So the Colts get great field position, and they immediately go to the air. Mo Sykes misses a tackle, and Harrison picks up the first down. High snap again for Manning. And he goes to the end zone, right corner, and Harrison comes down with it for the touchdown. And just like that, it is a four-point ball game. Johnson breaking a tackle, and he picks up eight. Patrick pass, another carry, and another first down for the fullback. Palmer to the air, pump faking all day, and that is picked off. He wanted Billy Miller, and there might have been some pushing and shoving here from Teddy Lehman. And that is definitely pass interference that they did not call on the Oklahoma Sooner product. Edron James with a carry, spins out the entire Texans defense, breaks the tackle, off to the races, down to the 13-yard line. Great run for the edge. Manning off his back foot, almost picked off by Mo Sykes. And they will settle for a short field goal from Sebastian Janikowski to make this a one-point ball game, 35 to 34 here in Houston at Reliance Stadium. Sammy Parker from the goal line, trying to make up for his last blunder, returns it up the middle, breaks out left side past the 30, stiff arms a defender, wow. Never thought I'd see that out of Sammy Parker, gets it up to the 40 yard line. Palmer taking off, he's got all day, just walking around, finds Billy Miller wide open, who jukes and gets it up to the 43 yard line. That play took about 10 years to develop. Palmer, nice pump fake. The whole defensive line jumped. And he's going to want Larry Johnson, and he's got him at the 17-yard line. Take a look at the career numbers for Palmer. It's almost 7,000 yards, 62 touchdowns, and less than 20 picks. Palmer going to the end zone. Jabbar Gaffney, has got it in between four Colt defenders for another touchdown. 42-34 is the score, but Edron James is not done yet, and he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Third down. Manning going, taking a shot, and that is caught somehow by Marvin Harrison. He bobbled it and somehow got it back into his body for the catch. Reggie Wayne with another first down grab. Edron James walking into the end zone for another Colt touchdown. They go for two points, and Edron James runs through a defender but does not get it. 42-40 is the score here as Larry Johnson gets loose, juking. Breaking a tackle, somehow gets out of it, escapes, and he is going to take this one all the way for a Houston Texans touchdown. That play was insane. Taking a look back here, he is just bottled up right here, closed in by a whole bunch of players, 
and gets loose. Safety gave chase, but he had stood no chance. He needed about 30 or 40 more yards to catch him. 100 yards rushing again for Larry Johnson as he just broke a 60-plus yard run. That's his third touchdown of the game. 49-40, it's a two-score game, but Marvin Harrison wide open on the sideline for the first down. Manning again hits Harrison. He's got speed, and Sean Taylor gets him by the ankle inside the 30-yard line. Manning to the air again over the middle. Reggie Wayne, nice catch for seven-yard pickup. Two minutes to go in the ball game here as Manning takes a shot, and Roll lays a huge hit on Wayne but he holds on to it for the touchdown. It's 49-47 as Larry Johnson breaks loose again and high steps into the end zone, giving us the 56-47 lead over the Indianapolis Colts with 1.45 to go. Now less than a minute and a half to go. Manning right side. Harrison loses his helmet. Manning left side. Reggie Wayne to the 50-yard line. One minute to go. Still a two-possession game. And Harrison just continues to catch in traffic as Sean Taylor lays a big hit on him. Over the middle, Marcus Pollard inside the five-yard line. The Colts not giving up here as they get another touchdown. P.K. Sam, Florida State Seminole, gets the touchdown. He was wide open, and they made him entirely too white. Colts on for the onside kick attempt, and that is recovered by Fargus, but he fumbles it, and Billy Miller will dive on it. We still need a first down to ice this game, and Larry Johnson gets just that. 110 points scored in this game. The Texans improve to 5-4 on the year. The Colts drop to 3-5, which is just unreal with the amount of talent they have on that offense. And their defense is very young, and they're getting really good. But there was no defense in this game for either team. We didn't see Randy Moss at all today, I don't think. Larry Johnson, 196 yards on the ground, 87 receiving, 5 touchdowns. That is the most points we've seen in a game in this series. 56 for us, 220 yards receiving from Marvin Harrison. You just can't stop him. Over 1,000 yards of offense today, 240 yards on the ground for Houston. Just an unreal amount of yards and points today. We just about broke the scoreboard. And look at all those points in the second half. We started out slow today. It was 21-17 at halftime, and then it just exploded from there. Palmer, 274 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Sacked once. Larry Johnson with an 8.5-yard average. Carson Palmer, three runs for 33 yards. Fargus gets a touchdown run today. If he didn't get that, Larry Johnson would have had six touchdowns. Billy Miller over 100 receiving yards. And Randy Moss did not get a single catch in this game, and we still put up 56 points. That is scary. Sean Taylor, nine tackles. Entrell roll with eight. Most Sykes gets seven. A couple tackles for a loss. No sacks, no interceptions. A lot of pass deflections. Four for Entrell roll, who was doing really good filling in for Jamie Henderson. He also got a forced fumble, or a fumble recovery, whatever it was. Peyton Manning, 400-plus yards passing, four touchdowns. He threw the ball 44 times. Edron James goes for almost 150 on us. He is unstoppable. Reggie Wayne gets 100 yards. Marvin Harrison, 220. Touchdown for each of them. P.K. Sam gets his first career touchdown, I believe. The Dolphins are 6-2 as they beat the Jets. The Giants beat the Redskins. The Bears beat the Vikings. Jaguars beat the Packers 42-35. Browns beat the Bengals 30-9. Falcons are 4-4. The Titans lose again. They're 4-4. The Lions get their first win of the season. They are 1-7 on the year as they beat the 49ers 37-16. Week 10, we have a bye week, so we're going to take a look at the rest of the games from there. Steelers beat the Jaguars 29-9. And the Lions lost, so no win streak for them. Bears beat the Titans 33-7. Browns beat the Eagles 20-13. And the Niners, after losing to the winless Lions, come back and get destroyed by the Giants. Chargers beat the Bucks by a point, 31-30. And next week, we will be taking on David Carr and the Chicago Bears here in Houston. It's a coming home party for him as he was our quarterback for year one. I look forward to that one, guys. I will see you uh, Monday with that one. Take it easy, guys.